Hey everybody, welcome to another video. And this video is a more of a question to all of the knife community or anyone who knows anything about knives. Um, this here is a poker um, copperhead smooth bone yellow. Uh, that is the official name of it. That is the official model of it. Um, this is a um, German made. And uh, it's stamped here. Um, let's see. I'll show you the stamp. There it is. I'll close to one of the blades. I just, uh, before I do that, take a look at the blade shapes. Uh, one is a clip point and the other is a large pen blade. Um, I'll, I'll close it. So I'll close this blade here so you can see the stamp. And I, 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 I really hate to butcher this, but I don't know how quite to pronounce it. Is Soligen? Soligen is made in Soligen. It's I guess a town or city where Boker's factory is. Um, I mentioned this before, but uh, according to some of the research I did, there are uh, three different knives that Boker produces, and um, one is. Uh, stamped Soligen, Soligen. Uh, that is actually uh, knives that are truly manufactured from scratch uh, in the Soligen factory, okay? And then there are knives that they stamp Germany. And those knives, uh, the materials... And everything else is manufactured or um, made in other countries, then shipped to Soligen, uh, Germany, to be assembled. Okay. And then there are Boker knives that are completely manufactured in other countries. Um, so there are three ways, I guess, Boker. Uh, makes these knives now here is my question i have searched high and low okay now usually when i go purchase a knife is something that i've viewed or uh, seen on youtube and and um it just caught my interest and then i would go and try to purchase it or order it or whatever but i have never ever seen videos of this particular model okay there are other copperhead smooth bone yellow types of knives uh boker uh i mean uh boker and other co fact uh, companies make but this very particular uh model here with the with the uh these two two blades these two blade shapes i have i have yet to find i've searched high and low on youtube and even on um sites like ebay and amazon and um even smoky uh i mean uh blade hq and all of them now there are i i did find them on such websites where they sell knives, but they're all out of stock. They, they um, I guess, they don't make these anymore. Um, I bought this one at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, and this was a used one in their um, rare collectible sections. And um, I didn't know. I knew. I didn't know anything about this knife. What? But the salesman turned me on to this one and, and, and a few other Boker knives. 
And this is the one that caught my eye. And I said, well, I'll take this one. I like this. Um, and he told me uh, that um, this was a very nice knife. The blade is a saw steel. That's from my recollection of him, what he was telling me about what the blade was made out of. And um, so when I brought it home, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to I want to see what the knife community has to say about this knife. And um, I look I, I typed in, you know, the search for a copper, a boker copperhead um, smooth bone yellow. Uh, and, um, there are some models that came up, but not with these two particular blades and, uh, st uh, exact style or make. Um, so I was like, Hmm, I can't find no review videos on this. So I'll probably do a review video after I, uh, use it a little bit. By the way, this is not my EDC. This is not part of my EDC. Uh, I'm not going to be carrying this every day. I'm not going to be using this uh, solely for the fact that uh, I would like to, but I don't want to really wear it out. I don't want to because what if this is a rare knife uh, or a very collectible knife and. I don't want to damage it. I don't want to scuff it up, you know. But I will use it occasionally and see how it compares to, let's say, some of the Rough Rider folders that I have. Um, and um, from what I can tell, it's a very sharp knife. I don't know if the previous owner um, sharpened it or not, but um, pretty sharp. Now... I don't have any case knives at the moment. I used to have a case pocket knife. And um, I was not very impressed. Uh, that was like maybe 20 years ago. Uh, long, probably longer than that. But almost 25 years ago. I had a um, a case Barlow. Uh, and um, I was not really that impressed people that saw that knife was impressed they were like oh you have a case knife wow cool you know but then you know i was like yeah well back then i didn't know too much about knives and i still don't but uh when i would ever went to use that knife i was not really that impressed um i guess because it was dull at the, and i didn't know how to sharpen it but but um i don't go crazy looking for case knives i went when i was at the smoky mountain knife works oh man the amount of uh inventory they had on case knives was amazing there was just so many of them but none of them i i shit you not none of them caught my eye i was not not one case knife made me pick it up or want to pick it up and say yeah i gotta have this but um this one here some reason just you know yeah i like this I'll, I'll take this one that was my uh impression of it so uh i guess uh that's my question for all you guys out there in the knife community please if you know anything about this knife or if you have one if you have this knife please do a video on it so i can just watch what watch and see what your opinion is about it um so what is my next endeavor in uh my uh, desires to uh, purchase knives uh, i would love to get my hands on a, a great eastern cutlery knife I'm, i've never had had one never uh picked one up and used it uh, i don't know what to expect uh, all I know is that people love them and they uh, praise them. So one day I'm hoping to find uh, one that I like. Uh, I was um, looking at Johnny on the spot, their camp knife, um, utility knife. Um, uh, that I, that kind of, I like that. And I also like their cattleman's. 
uh, uh, Great Eastern Cutlery Cattleman's Knife. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Um, so I mean, I mean, I may be that might be in my future purchase uh, if if I could find one. But uh, I hate to spend a lot of money like something on something like that and be disappointed though. So I'll be very careful. Uh, hopefully, where wherever I do find it and see it, I can hold it in my hand and see if if that is what I really want. <clears throat> I don't want to order it online, have it shipped to me, and then I play with it and use it and s say to myself, "Eh, kind of disappointed." And that's how I was with the case knife that I had long, long time ago. So I was never like. I'm going out of my way to get those knives. Um, but this one here, so far, so good. So, uh, please, if you have this knife, this exact same knife, make a video. Let me know it's out there because I, I, I shit you not, I cannot find one single video on YouTube about this knife. So, all you guys in the knife community, please. Uh, if you have it, make a video for me. And I guess that's kind of like a challenge. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.